Hey, it's Mr. Simandera. This is a quick video on how the Roman Empire became the Byzantine Empire. Well, actually, how it became the Eastern Roman Empire. You see, the Byzantine Empire is really a term that historians came up with. People of the Byzantine region really didn't call themselves Byzantine. They were Romans. And this is a video about how they got to be there. Well, let's start with the basics. Um, right in the middle we have Rome. Off to the side of Greece is going to be the Byzantine or Byzantium. You might remember Carthage and you might remember the Holy Land. Of course, we have the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. In between is the all-important Bosporus Strait. And we will begin to see how the Bosporus Strait will be this toll booth in between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. Well, around the late 200s, 285 or so, Diocletian, the emperor of Rome, is going to realize that the Roman Empire is really just too big and too vast. So ultimately, he's going to divide it. There will be a western part and an eastern part. While appointing a couple of governors to uh, rule one side or the other, maybe that seems pretty easy, but it really is the beginning of the fall. About 20 years after the time of Diocletian, Constantine is going to literally take Rome and move it to Constantinople. Well, it wasn't originally called Constantinople. Its original name was Byzantium. What made this city so um, advantageous were all of the trade routes coming in by land and by sea, known as the Silk Roads. So each time products would be coming in, they went to the Black Sea, had to travel through the Bosporus Strait, right through here, the Bosporus Strait, so they can go from the Black Sea to the Mediterranean. In the West, we will begin to see uh, barbarian invasions begin to take over and eventually sack the city of Rome itself. The West is going to fall into unhappy times. Eventually, this will be the feudal period of Europe, known as the Middle Ages, or even the Dark Ages. There will be no strong central government here in the western part of Rome. However, in the eastern part of the empire, the Byzantine section, there will be much prosperity from those trade routes. Things will be pretty good. Emperors like Justinian will build Hagia Sophia and revive part of Rome's grandeur, and things will really take off for them, lasting for another 1,000 years.